I like simple solutions like the pen. So when we write checks today, we're at tremendous risk. So I have found over my 25-year career that the simplest solution to not ever having to worry about having my check forged, altered, counterfeited in my business, where it is the most devastating, is to simply use a product called Positive Pay. Positive Pay is something that I have endorsed without compensation for over 25 years because I truly believe that it is the finest technology that exists today to combating check forgery. I would hope that some of you are on Positive Pay already. Those of you who are not, very simple. Every day my company writes checks, I have a little piece of software, 250 bucks, that downloads to my bank all the checks I wrote. So it records the dollar amount, the check number, and I send that data to the bank. The bank stores that data in what's called an issue file. In the meantime, that afternoon, I mailed all those checks out, suppliers, vendors, et cetera. Lo and behold, uh, someone forges my check. Wish they were all pink, they'd be easy to catch, but that's not the case. I sent them a check to Malaysia, $2,000. Someone in Malaysia stole it out of the mailbox, changed 2,000 to 20,000, so perfect that under a microscope you couldn't tell. I don't care, I'm on positive pay. They deposit the check in Malaysia, comes back to Nevada State Bank, and they reject it. Positive pay is nothing but a match file. You already told the bank up front, here's all the checks I wrote. Every check comes into the bank is matched against the file. No match, no pay. Bank says you didn't write it, I don't pay it. Simple as that. When you're on positive pay at your bank, whether you're a Frank's dry cleaner with three employees in one store, or you're IBM, if you're on positive pay, you are automatically on daily reconciliation. You reconcile your bank statement every 24 hours of every day. Because when you're on positive pay, you're automatically on daily reconciliation of that account. This is an incredible tool that does away with the threat of a forger. You know, if you're Delta Airlines and someone forges your check for $250,000 and the bank doesn't pay you, which is most likely the case, well, then you go to your errors and emissions insurance, and your insurance company picks up uh, 200000 of it, and you take the other 50000 you write off 25000 out of your taxes, you take the other 25000 put it back in an operating budget, and go on about your business. But if you own a small company, you have a $250,000 check written on your half a million dollar bank account, and the bank says, I'm not paying you, you're done. You're through. You're bankrupt. It is not worth the risk when there is simple technology to prevent it. And Nevada State Bank has positive pay. Now, one of the things uh, that for years people would say to me is, well, what about the payee? I send a check for $48,000 to the trucking company, the guy takes off the payee, doesn't change the check number, he doesn't change the dollar amount, and he deposits the check. Well, a couple years ago I had to say to you, well, that's, can't, can't do anything about that because, I mean, some people write pay, che, pay by pen, some write with this font, that font, check over here, number over here, address over here, down here, this form, that form. But today they have pay name verification, which is three-way verification. So the bank is verifying the check number, the dollar amount, and the payee. So even if you wrote a check that you took out of the mailbox r, &R Trucking and one line above it in the same font you typed Frank W. Abagnale and or r, &R Trucking, it wouldn't clear it because Frank W. Abagnale is not in the bank's database. It would reject. So a company that says to me, we're on full positive pay at our bank, well, then you've locked the door and thrown the key away. You have no risk. You've eliminated your risk. 